In this video, we're going to be going over how to use types within functions with TypeScript. At the end, we'll take a look at two functions from the Vutify source code. And we'll use our newfound knowledge to see how these function definitions work. So for today's video, we're going to be roughly following the order of this page in the TypeScript handbook with a couple of changes. Of course, we're going to be emphasizing the stuff that's important for Vue, and we'll be removing stuff such as the big long section on this, where I don't think it's going to be a huge problem for most Vue users, since uh, Vue already handles a lot of the scope stuff that is tricky in regular JavaScript. You may also notice, if you're following along using the handbook, that we skipped over interfaces. And we will cover interfaces later. But I think it's better to cover interfaces once you have a better grasp of the rest of the type system. All right, now let's get started on functions. So first, you can do a named function like this, or an anonymous function like this. and they act pretty much the same. Let's take this example function and start adding types. So we'll define it here. And here you'll see that the types are any for everything. And we can add more explicit types here, for example, for the first argument. So this can be a number and this can be a number. So now if we try to add stuff that are different than numbers, it'll give an error. And an interesting thing to note, it only gives a little red squiggly line for the first error. But if we fix that, now it shows the red squiggly line for the second error. But if we do that, then everything is fine. We can also set a type for the return, which in this case will be a number. And it's good right now if we comment this out and return a string, then this will show an error because we are returning the incorrect type. So to go over this again, each of the arguments can be typed. And the return value for a function can be typed as well. And you don't have to have all of those. So you could type one of the arguments or none of the arguments and still type the return value. Of course, at that point, the return value may not be super useful. So here, if we add two plus hash, then we are not going to be getting a number. We'll be getting this string. And it's even going to allow us to use methods that there is no way that's returning a number. So technically, you can do this. And there may be times where it's useful without typing these, but it's better to type all of them if you can. So now that we explicitly type this as number, we'll see that this and this are showing errors as they should. So this is one way to define the types, but there's another way we can define a, the type of a function on my add. So how we would do this is we would, first we'd put the colon here to let TypeScript know that this is a type. And then we have our argument types and our return type. And in that case, we no longer need to define these because they're going to be inferred correctly from this. 
So hover this over here. Now TypeScript knows that that's a number. And if we try to do shenanigans like this or this, then it will correctly show the error. And there's something even cooler you can do with this. We're going to use a custom type called numeric function. And I'll get into the syntax and details of this in a later video. But for now, we just want to see that we can define our type there and use it right there. And now these are still correctly typed. And so this will still show errors correctly. And we can use this for other functions as well, such as my subtract. There are a couple more things we can do with functions and types. And the examples in the documentation are really good for these specific ones. So we have our optional parameters, and you create those just by adding a question mark after that parameter. So in this case, it will now not throw an error if we don't give anything for an optional parameter. Then default parameters are where it will by default have a specific value if you don't give a value for it in the function call. So assuming that you're familiar with JavaScript, the default parameter works pretty much the same way. And the optional parameter also works the same way as JavaScript, with the exception that if you don't define it as optional, TypeScript will throw an error if you don't include it. So that's a new error checking ability in TypeScript and adding it as optional makes it more like how it works in JavaScript. Finally, for rest parameters, we need to be able to define the type of those and we do that using an array. So here is our rest parameter and it's gonna be of type an array of strings. And that's the basics of using types and functions in TypeScript. Let's go ahead and take a look at our Vutify code. So we'll look at this function first. So we'll notice it takes one argument, which is optional, and its type is either a string or false. So this, which we've been using before, still works in these type definitions and then it will return a type boolean. So it takes in a string or false and returns a boolean. And then let's take a look at our second function definition of set background color. So it will take in an optional argument color and once again it will be string or false. And then it also takes in a data which is of type v node data, which is a custom type that is defined by view itself. And the default is just an empty hash. And then it will return a v node data. Using these type definitions, you already know a lot about how these methods work, even before you go and read them. And if you do decide to read through them, then it will help set your expectations so you'll be able to understand it more quickly. And that's it for this video. I hope you'll join me in the next video where we discuss custom types, objects, and extending types. Thanks for watching. Like, comment, subscribe, hit the bell. Thanks to everyone who's a member of viewscreencast.com, bronze, silver, gold, and platinum plans, where you'll have access to our complete and up-to-date course catalog, as well as coaching, mentoring, and consulting. 
visit us at viewscreencast.com.